Hello, hello, everybody, and happy Monday. Um, my name is Harlequin Murray. I am your co-host this evening and excited that you guys are all here. Um, for those of you who are new to us and are just joining us today, welcome. We're glad you've joined the team. Um, I am the usual co-host every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And Ellen Wynn is our host, and she will be with us momentarily. But um, for those of you who are not familiar with um, who Ellen is, she is our senior team leader. She's been with DAC for five and a half years now. But she, um, she has a long history of working in the industry, but to a little bit of her background, she's originally from an area just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, um, called Dallas, and she grew up on her family's farm there, worked in the restaurant industry for many years, worked her way up to um, a district director and corporate training manager for Domino's Pizza, and then she ended up leaving the corporate world and opened up her own pizza restaurant, had a couple of locations. So she has um, got some experience being a business owner. And she also st got started in the network marketing industry. And whenever I initially met her about 18 years ago, I now, now I think um, she was actually the national training director for the network marketing company that I met her in. So she's got a ton of training experience, which we are very fortunate to have access to. Um, she is an area director for DAC and we're getting more and more people coming in here. So welcome to those joining us a little bit late. But um, anyways, we are super excited, and if you guys did not hear this morning's Zoom, you got to go back and watch it, but Ellen is going to tell us a little bit more, and without further ado, Miss Ellen Wynn, go ahead and take it away, girl. I mean, one second to get a sip of water here. Okay. And Darcel, no worries about, you know, if you can't be on camera because of circumstances, we totally understand that. Um, not everybody can. And if you're driving, don't, don't worry about it. But if you are able to be on camera, it really makes it more fun if we all participate. Yeah, absolutely. The operative word is if you can be on camera, right? <laughs> so be on camera safely. Thank you, Harlequin. I appreciate that. And yes, about 18 years, we were uh, somewhere around 2005, I believe you and I met through a telecommunications company. And I tell you what, folks, I've been taking a walk down memory lane on my experience in the network marketing space and the stories that I heard when I first got involved in the industry. In fact, I want to share one with you tonight that I've been sharing with some friends that I've been reaching out to to talk to about DAC and where we are right now. So if you don't already have a pen and paper, grab one. You're going to want to take some notes. While I, I know people kind of come on late. I'm going to go through a few slides before I get into that story about the look back into um, getting involved in the industry in the beginning and sharing the story that I'm telling. So go ahead and get us kicked off in slide share mode. Let me get us over there. Share my screen. And there we are. All right. Uh, DAC, the upside of business ownership, simplified without any risk whatsoever. I talked to a friend today and uh, gave her my spill, which I'll share that with you as well. But I have to share this on. She's like, OK, Ellen, what's this going to cost me? That was her first thing after I gave her my little spill about our RX plan and how we had an opportunity to help a lot of people. 
and wanted to see if she was interested in making some money while we were helping people together. And she just started laughing. She said, okay, what's this going to cost? <laughs> and I said, it is free. And she said, okay, it's free to get started, but then what's it going to cost, right? So she's been uh, accustomed to being a part of companies that have startup fees, whether they're buying a products package or just having to pay for the business in the box startup, whatever, and was kind of taken back when I said it is free. Not only is it free to get started here, we're also going to provide you free websites. We're going to provide you free support and free training. So guys, if this is your first time joining us on a Monday night, we do this Zoom every week, giving you guys an opportunity to Come together and meet with your team leaders. I'm your senior team leader, Harlequin. As she said, I enrolled her in the business, so I'm her sponsor. And the majority of people that join this Zoom are part of my organization, although we do have a few that pop in. Um, they've either found my YouTube channel or they've just asked, could they participate? And we always welcome those. I, I welcome anybody to join. In fact, for me to be able to help support people that aren't on my team, this is really the best way to do it because I can support everybody at once. Um, I just really don't have a lot of time to do one-on-one -on -one calls with people that aren't part of my sales organization because those of you that are in my team, y'all are the ones that I'm committed to helping grow. But all in all, we're growing a company together. BAC is an eight-year-old company. We're based out of Michigan. Uh, everything that we do is on East East Coast time zone, so Eastern time, whether it be our uh, daytime Zooms or any of the training that you see posted, it's always going to be Eastern time unless we're doing traveling events. We haven't started doing that yet, but I know David is talking about that in the near future. But DAC being eight years old is profitable, has been profitable every year, but we have the groundwork laid, the foundation is laid, and we are now positioned and poised for massive growth as we go into DAC 2.0. We're looking for some self-starters who are motivated, who have who want to have their own side hustle or even a full-time business inside the protection of DAC, where you'll be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So think about this. DAC as a company provides everything that we need. We're a turnkey business with DAC. You're, all you need to do is be out here and be a marketer bringing customers to the company. And in turn, uh, the company is going to take care of onboarding those customers, is going to take care of making sure that the services are deployed to the customer, and they're going to take care of billing. They're going to take care of all of the uh, IT support of our websites. They're going to take care of all the stuff in the background. And all you have to do is be the mouthpiece, getting the communication out to the customers. And then you get paid when you bring those customers to the table. So there's very little risk financially. There's no risk. Uh, your risk is investing time and not producing results. But if you're not producing results and you're investing time, then we need to take a look at what it is that you're doing. Are you following the system? Are you following the training that we have in place? Because everything we teach works. When you think about our model as a whole, DAC doesn't make any money until customers are delivered. So wouldn't it make sense that we're always going to teach the best methods of attracting customers and the best methods of reaching out to customers? Sure. So when we teach something, make sure that um, you're following that and taking heed and don't try to reinvent the wheel. It's really simple if you'll just follow what we teach. So um, earning money with DAC, you can earn a significant income by getting personal clients. And we have some big bonus clients uh, through our bonus services through our funding where you can make full-time income month one if you're promoting our funding services. Also, you can make big money on personal client residuals, but if you really want to make walk-away income, retirement income, then you want to consider building a team. Team building is the way where you multiply yourself. So imagine you're out here gathering customers by yourself. That's all you're going to get is you're, if you're not building a team. But if you have a team, imagine multiplying yourself and your efforts tenfold or 50-fold or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. 
having that many people out here talking about the services where you can earn a piece of the commission on everything that your organization sells. So that's why you want to do team building. Let's go into team building recognition for the week of 11-27 through 12-3, past seven days. We had in first place, Mark Politi had four new agents. Congratulations, Mark. Way to get out there and get the word out about DAC. In second place, we had a two-way tie between DeAnthony Thomas and Pam Warnock, each with three new agent recruits. Congratulations to you two. Uh, in fourth place, we had a six-way tie, each with two new agents, and that's Anthony Janis, Katina Willis, Con Consults, uh, Dream Merchants of Beverly Hills, Jennifer Cortes, Kenyatta Watkins, and Passy Gumney. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Hopefully I didn't uh, destroy your name there. If I did, I apologize. But great job to those of you that had two or more recruits. Uh, to be named on the leaderboard, you had to have at least two recruits. So those of us who only had one agent recruit, we're not on the leaderboard by name. But all in all, we had our recruiting numbers go up as well as the number of agents who are recruiting. We had 36 agents this week who had at least one new recruit. That's up from like 25, 24, 25 from last week. So Got more engagement, more activity here in the field, and that's what we need to be seeing to see the kind of growth that we're looking for. So let's talk about our services real, real quick. Uh, for the, Again, for those of you that are brand new, I go through this. You know, repetition is the mother of learning, and the more times you see something, the more times you hear something, the more it becomes ingrained in your mind and therefore easy to come forward in conversation. So uh, our, our original platform was financial services, primarily business funding. That's our flagship program. That's what DAC got started with. And our one-stop best offer funding platform is the best in the industry. We now have a platform where we have over 50 lenders that um, are combined in that platform. When someone applies through us, if they're doing over 15,000 a month and they're operating through a business checking account, then they're gonna go through that Bank Breezy partnership platform where we're co-branded with them. And our team is really going to get the best offer out of all of those top lenders. And we only deal with reputable lenders. So, you know, when you put somebody through our site, they're dealing with a company that's willing to work with them if they run into hard times and need to renegotiate their payment terms. We also have outside of the unsecured funding, which is our funding platform, we also have unsecured lines of credit. We do credit card processing and point of sale systems. We're also helping businesses get the employee retention tax credit back from the IRS. So right now you may have read some information where there's a moratorium on that accepting new ERC clients, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to continue accept, accepting them. We're hoping that that's going to open back up in January, but don't wait until January. You can go ahead and get clients started on the ERC process through your website now, and then they will be in line once the ERC is open back up with the IRS. So um, we want to do that. And then we also have pay cards where employers can sign up for our pay card through Relevate and give their employees earn wage access, which is what the EWA is. Earn wage access means that they can get up to 50% of their pay before payday for money that they've already earned, but it's not time for that money to come to them yet. So that's a great program. And then our most recent development is our healthcare platform. We have a healthcare division where we have a comprehensive benefits platform with individual healthcare plans, employer plans, and our flat fee RX program. All of these can be marketed to individuals, or any size group. So there's no limit to the number of people that can be impacted by any of our plans that you see here on DACHealthcare.com. And best of, best of offer all of our services, you don't need to be licensed and you don't need experience. You just need to be coachable and willing to follow the system. Every one of our services is supported by industry experts who will onboard your customers, answer your customers' questions, and then they will be the customer service support there. You simply refer your potential clients to your personalized website that is provided to you for free 
by DAC. Again, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And you've got the uh, field leadership like you see here on our Zoom tonight, right? So anybody remember the movie Field of Dreams? Y'all ever see that? that? That was an awesome movie with Kevin Costner. And as I'm looking at DAC and just kind of thinking about where we are, I remember one of the lines from this movie that was so powerful. And it was, if you build it, they will come, right? So think of DAC right now as we've been in process of building the foundation. We have built the company out. We've got all the systems in place. And now we've got the products in place that put into the mix with our other business services and our dynamic compensation plan. Uh, it's time for the recruiting numbers to start going through the roof. And that's where we can see the massive growth. But it's going to take every one of you and then many, many that aren't on this Zoom tonight or aren't watching this replay to get engaged and to get involved and to have some excitement and enthusiasm about DAC and about getting our products into the marketplace. OK, so I love it. The Field of Dreams today, David did a great Zoom talking about our RVP plan. I sent that replay out and your path to making $100,000 next year, okay? And uh, I love this image that they put up, the RVP in 2024 Trailblazers. You can look in your back office. When you log in, you will now see this image to the left under the What's New section right here. It shows you uh, there's a link here. Watch the plan, and that's the replay from today's YouTube. I also send it out in an email, and then there's a link here to subscribe to the Trailblazer email list, the RVP Trailblazer email list. David had asked last week, he said, look, if you want to be a Trailblazer, send me an email with RVP in the subject line. Now, you don't have to do that. He doesn't have to answer those emails. He's got it automated, so you can sign up there in the back office. But I caution you guys, if you're not serious about becoming an RVP and making that run to get to $100,000 in income next year, then, you know, it's not going to be for you. You can still come and participate in our Zooms and, and watch what's going on and watch everybody else having success. And you can get a customer here and there. But if you're not really ready to run for it and help us bring massive numbers of agents to the team, then that RVP Trailblazer list may not be for you. And then we see below that, we've got the new Flat Fee RX product is live. And there's your link, dachealthcare.com. We're going to go over to the website. And I'm going to take you through a couple of things that I do with customers. And we're going to talk about what to say to customers and also the recruiting conversation. Okay. Um, and then this is the calendar of events. So please make a note. Tomorrow is our first Tuesday of the month. That means at 8 p.m. tomorrow, we have a Agent Business Opportunity Overview. This is going to be a brand new presentation. You need to be on there. Your team needs to be on there. And you need to bring guests, okay? How do you get your team on there? You send them a message. You know, I add everybody to my email list, but not everybody opens my email. Some of them go in spam and people don't even know that I've ever communicated with them or they're going, who's this email from? And they're trashing it, right? Because... Nobody told them to be on the lookout for messages from Ellen Wynn, that I'm their, your senior team leader. So my communication doesn't make it to everybody. So if you have a team, you need to help here. Take your phone out, go through your back office and look at your team and find their phone numbers and reach out to people. Pick up the phone and call them and say, Introduce yourself. If you've never talked to them before, introduce yourself and say, hey, this is Ellen Wynn. I don't believe you and I have ever spoken before, but I wanted to reach out to you today. You're part of my team with David Allen Capital and DAC Healthcare. And I just wanted to make sure you're aware of some exciting things that are going on right now, right? And get the conversation started. Invite them to the Business Opportunity Overview tomorrow night live to come see the newest update and also tell them, hey, it's a great time to invite someone to come along to really see what's happening here at DAC. It's an exciting time. Doesn't have to be a long conversation, but you need to take the proactive role of reaching out to people that are in your organization. Whether you personally recruited them or not, 
reach out to them and show them some love and let them know, hey, we would love to have you participating. Here's what's happening, okay? And then tomorrow night at nine o'clock, we're going to have training. And I have no idea what that training is going to be on Harlequin. Did David say specifically other than probably RX plan? <laughs> Yeah, actually, it's going to be on the Rx plan. And one of the things that they're going to be talking about is how to market it to groups and to companies. Awesome. Yeah. I knew you would have an answer to that. So, guys, mark your calendar for that. And then up at the top, we see our weekly live schedule. This is every week right now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. All Zooms at DACZoom.com. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday, so we have healthcare training with our Clearwater team. Jake has been doing that. He does a phenomenal job on it, and we're trying to keep those to 30 minutes or so so that we can do those live trainings during the week, give you some updates, give you an opportunity for question and answer, and then everybody goes about their work day. Same thing on Wednesday with funding training with Wade and then our agent update on Friday. So, uh, the Become Ellen. an RVP Trailblazer. I want to oh. go through this real quick. Okay. Well, I just wanted to point out, starting next Monday, the call is only for people who are signed up for that RVP trailers, uh, or Trailblazer list. Right. Which is what this says right here. So, yeah. Thanks for pointing that out, Harlequin. Okay. All right. So, I had clicked on, I clicked on this. This link, I'm sorry, I clicked on the link in the DAC Facebook group, okay? And that's what brought me to this, where you sign up for the, e this is the email sign up. Um, when you click on that, it's going to open up to this page, Become an RVP Trailblazer. This is where professionalism meets passion. As aspiring RVPs, you're committing to more than success. You're pledging to embody the spirit of DAC. Disciplined, dedicated, and unwavering integrity. You're not just growing a business, but also nurturing a team with the values that DAC stands for. Here, success is about leading by example. While shaping lives and honoring God in every aspect of our work, our mission goes beyond achieving goals. It's about building a legacy of excellence and integrity. Join us to forge a path where leadership is meaningful and success is shared. Let's shape the future of DAC together. Now, that's the message from David Rutz on our sign-up form. But guys, what I just read to you is how I feel about DAC, and I have the whole time I've been here. So those of you that are here every week, I know you can say without a doubt that I embody this, right? Because I have unwavering faith and belief in DAC and unwavering faith and belief in you guys that you guys can achieve success here. So that's what about what being a trailblazer is all about. Now, David posted the RVP plan in the agent group. He went over in the video. Uh, just a quick recap. And I took this from my notes because I always take notes. Goal number one is that each of us go out and get five personal RX customers and then go get five more, and then go get five more, and then go get five more. And if we break this down on a week-by-week -week basis, that's like one a day over the course of four weeks, right, to get your personal RX customers. Um, Y'all, don't forget, as a team leader, all of you that are in my organization, I can see whether you're getting customers or not. So, don't try to tell me that you're doing stuff or that you're signing people up because I can really see whether numbers are popping in or not. So be honest on this. Be honest with yourself when you say, yes, I'm going to do this and know that if you say you're going to do this, I'm checking in on you. Whether you're sending me text messages or what, I'm opening up the back office and I'm looking to see whether you've got numbers popping in there or not, okay? Um, goal number two is to find five legs of your business. What is a leg? Well, I personally sponsored Harlequin. So she is a leg of my business. And all of you that are on Harlequin's team, y'all are in that one leg of business, right? 
I sponsored Mike Do. I see Mike on here. Mike is one leg of my business and everybody in Mike's team, he has several leaders in his team. That's one leg of my organization. So I can say right now, I have two legs just looking at the screen on who I see of people that I know are going for RVP. I have several others that I've talked to, but I just see you guys and the five folks that I see on the screen right now. Um, but that's what we're looking for. You want to find someone. It doesn't have to be someone that you personally sponsored that's going for RVP, but someone in that leg. It could be, you know, with Harlequin, for example, uh, I know she's going for RVP, but if she weren't, it might be someone that she sponsored and they sponsored and they sponsored. It might be five or six levels deep in her team that someone is going, hey, I really want to do this, Ellen. I want to do it. And that might be the RVP person in that leg, right? So um, that's what it is all about. Just finding at least one person that's going to go get those customers that makes a commitment to go for it. And that's helping be a driving force in that team by leading by example. And then rank advancing. And I meant to pull up a slide on that, but we've talked about rank advance so many times where, you know, you get 50 customers here um, or 50 points, five customers, five times 10, then that takes you to qualified agent. Then you get 10 customers. Then you've got 100 points. Then 15, you got 150 and two and 20, then you've got 200. So that's moving through the comp plan. So the goals that he listed, and I would take a screenshot of this if I were you, um, week one, this week, you need to go get five personal customers and find at least one person in your team that commits to wanting to go to RVP. I had several of you texted me today after the leadership Zoom with David texted me, hey, I want to do this. I'm going and working on my customers today, right? Um, that's what you've got to do. So get five customers this week and find one RVP commitment. Week two, go get five more customers and find a second person because you're wanting to have five legs of people, of teams that are going for RVP. And then week three, same thing. Week four, week five. By the end of week four, you should have your personal customer count of 20 and you're actively looking at who in your team is really working towards getting to RVP. The eraser is somebody that said that they wanted to be RVP, but they're not going and getting personal customers. Erase them off of that list. They can always come back and add themselves back in when they start showing the activity, right? But do the eraser and say, okay, um, I've only got four right now. If I've said yes, four are actually actively working. Let me find that fifth person that's really going to go do what they said they're going to do. So that's what that is all about. Now, I want to take you through over to the website real quick. Um, reminder, if you've not been here for a while, if you go to davidallencapital.com, we now have all of our financial services are still at DAC, davidallencapital.com, like they always have been. But we've added a healthcare division link uh, in the top right corner of the page, and that goes straight over to dachealthcare.com. Please, please make note of what I'm about to tell you and make sure that your team knows this as well, because I'm seeing some of you that are on these Zooms still making a mistake on this web address. OK, when we first launched the healthcare back in August, uh, it was on davidallencapital.com domain or that URL. It was davidallencapital.com forward slash healthcare or forward slash health share. Those links don't work anymore. So you need to go check and make sure that any signatures that you have in your email are going to dachealthcare.com forward slash your ID number now and not using the David Allen Capital URL if you're wanting to market healthcare. Same thing, not only with your signatures, but also if you have domain names that you're forwarding and redirecting over to the healthcare page. Um, if you didn't make that correction when we changed and went to dachealthcare.com, then those domain redirects are probably not working either. So make sure you check that, okay? Now, once you get there, you've got access to just click on any one of these tabs and go directly to any page that you want. But this is the star of the show, DAC Flat Fee Rx. So 
back to the conversation that I started earlier on my experience in telecom. Okay. Here's the story that resonates with me because when I first got involved in network marketing, there was a company called XL Telecom out there. XL was one of the fastest growing network marketing companies in history. Many, many millionaires were created out of that company. And here's why. Listen up. XL had a long distance product that was cheaper than long distance through the carrier. So they had a remarkable product. David always talks about you have a remarkable product, meaning that people are going to comment on it and carry that conversation forward and tell other people about it, right? So XL and their long distance program and also David and the long distance program that he had with his first company that he owned, the Free Network, they were marketing a program that was better priced than what people were already paying for a service that everybody already had, okay? So they already had long distance, but here these companies came along with a product that was better priced. So people were switching over to it without even thinking about it. Guys, that's what we have with our flat fee RX program. If people are spending more than $20 a month, doesn't it make sense to show them how for $19.95, they can get all their prescriptions for that flat fee? Of course, if they're on the formulary, and we're going to go through that in just a minute. But if you're not asking the question, oh, I just, I don't know how to get you across the starting line. If you're not asking this question, please do yourself and your friends and family and neighbors a favor by letting them know this product exists. There are people out there that are hurting today and having to decide whether they can afford their medication, put food on the table, or pay their rent, or pay their car, or pay for their car insurance, right? I was talking with a client today, and uh, we were just talking about how expensive everything is, right? I went to Chick-fil-A for lunch a few days ago, two of us, Lunch was over $25, and it was just a sandwich, fries, and a drink for two. $25 for fast food. That's crazy, but I'm not the only one feeling that. You guys are, and so are your friends, family, and neighbors. So get the word out, not only on how they can save money on this necessity that they have, which is their prescription medications, but also we can help relieve that pain by having a conversation about marketing. So here's, here's my conversation that I had with a friend today. I called, I called a lady that um, I know she's had success in network marketing years ago. We were in a company together and I always heard her stories about um, the company that she had been in prior to me meeting her and how quickly she ran to the top of that company just because she was talking to everybody about it. So when I called her today, um, my conversation kind of went like this. I got her on the phone and, you know, we reconnected for a minute. I, I told her what spurred me to call her. Uh, I just ran across something that reminded me of her. And I told her that and I said, hey, listen, I'm calling you tonight because I, I got a question. I said, do you know anybody that is spending more than $20 a month on prescription drugs? And she said, well, yeah, that was kind of a no brainer. She's, she's my age or older. And, you know, if you're talking to a very young group of people, most likely that that may be a no to that answer because they've not gotten to the age where they're on prescription medication yet. So change the demographics that you're talking to if you're getting a lot of no's. Because if you're talking to an older demographic, you're going to hear yeses all the time, right? But when I asked her that question, she said, well, yeah. And I said, well, my next question is this. How would you like to help me help a whole lot of people? And she said, she started laughing and she said, okay, what's this going to cost me? Because she knew where I was going with this. And I said, it's not going to cost you anything. It's free. And she said, what? And I said, 
is free. And she said, but, and I said, no, there's no buts. I said, it's free to start. We're going to provide you free websites. Everything is free, free training. Only thing you're going to pay for is if you print marketing materials, that's on your own dime. But we're even coming out with an app here in a couple of weeks and it's going to be free as well. So we're going to provide you all the resources that you need to have success. You just got to put the sweat equity in and help be that mouthpiece here in the community getting the word out about this phenomenal product that is going to help so many people. And would it be okay if you got paid a whole lot of money to help do that? And she's like, well, yeah. So now she's reviewing everything. But before we hung up the phone, because I just had a brief conversation with her. And then I said, I'm going to send you an email with some information. Um, and I sent her my 30 minute biz op presentation that I recorded. It's been on my YouTube channel. I sent her that and I sent her the links. Actually, I can pull that email up and show you exactly what I sent her. Um, and just an overview to look at this. And she said, I'm going to look at the information and I'm going to pray over it. And I said, that'd be a good thing for you to do. Cause I know when she prays over it, she starts looking over our site where, uh, God is all over the message that we have with DAC, then that's going to really resonate with her. But her last words before we hung up was, you know, this is really a good time that good timing that you're calling me about this. Okay. I've had two people today that said the same thing that the timing for them is good right now because things have shifted in their life either financially or business has slowed down or they're working in a job that they absolutely hate or they're juggling a couple of jobs and they would really love to just be able to do one and not have the headache of the other. So guys, you got to get the word out and you got to talk to people about what we have here. Okay. So let's go over to DACHealthcare.com and take a look at the website. And I'm going to make sure everybody knows how to work through the promotion here without having to wait till training tomorrow night, right? We're going to do it live right now. Um, all right, so we're at dachealthcare.com. I want to go over to our flat fee RX site. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm here on our flat fee RX page. If I were going to share this page with someone, uh, as you can see, my information is at the top of the page now because of a cookie that got dropped on my browser and the browser knows that this is my site. But if I were going to send this page out to anyone, I would need to add my agent ID or my username to the end of the link here. Just use Ellen Wynn, which is my username. I would right click, copy, and then I would have that ready to send out to someone, okay? Don't ever send your link out without your information because if it doesn't have your information, when someone else opens it on a different browser, your information won't be on that web page, right? You got to send it out there. But somebody talks to me, um, I just did this and I shared this the other day. I sat down with one person that had five prescriptions, another one that had 11. I did that testimonial in the DAC agent group. Um, when somebody says, well, you know, is my medication covered? Say, I don't know. Let's go look. And you can either send them your link and tell them how to do it. But if I'm on the phone with somebody, I like taking care of things right then and there. So if I'm talking to somebody about prescriptions, I'm going to say, okay, let's see if your prescriptions are covered. I'm going to click on the drug search link at the top of the page. And I'm going to ask them what the drug name is, and I'm going to start typing it in, and it'll pull it up. I also want to show you where the full formulary list is, because sometimes that's a little tricky on the dropdown. If you go down the page to view full drug list here, it pulls up the PDF document, and... download our full formulary, pulls up a document here. I wouldn't necessarily download this and save it to your computer because if they make any changes to this, then your document is going to be obsolete. You're better off having this live document from the website, okay? Um, but if you're doing a, a drug search here, the shortcut is to do hit the control key on your keyboard, control F, and then you can start typing it in. Uh, 
I just started levothyroxine and it shows me there are 12 of them. When I hit these little arrows up and down, it takes me through all these different listings are showing um, different dosages. I'll blow that up. But then I go through until I, it's taking me through every one of them. So that's how you're going to do that. And if somebody says, yeah, this sounds good. I want to sign up. Then I would send them the link over and walk and wait till they get it on the email. I'd rather if somebody's doing this and I'd rather them sign up rather than me do it for them. You could sign them up, but I like sending them the link and letting them sign up on their own. Um, send them the link to subscribe today. You can send them this direct link. It has your information in it. It is my free pharmacy DAC. So it's definitely a DAC link. So if I was on the phone with them, I would send that. It's already got my code in it. I would copy and email if they're in front of their computer. I'll say, are you in front of your computer? Yes. Okay, great. Let me email this to you or is text or Facebook Messenger better. I'm going to ask them what method they want me to send the message, and I'm going to send them that link and then wait till they get it. I'm going to say, look, I'll go ahead and walk you through the enrollment right now. Okay, great. And here the drop down is either selecting a family plan, a single, or they can go ahead and pay for an annual, right? They get a month free if they do the annual plan. Um, and then they're going to fill in their information and just check out here, continue to payment. Okay, that's really simple. Um, but if you really want to get those five enrollments each and every week, stay on the phone, get it done while you're talking to someone instead of sending them information to look, but look at and think about because they'll get busy and they'll forget all about it. But if you get them signed up, they'll get an email immediately uh, with their receipt. And then the next business day, they'll get an email with setting up their account. And if you do sign someone up, make sure you follow up with them uh, a couple of business days later to make sure they got their email, make sure they're going in and setting their account up and um, guiding them towards customer support if they need help, okay? I think that was my last slide. It was, I'm gonna go off of screen share. And Ellen, I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, on that sign up sheet, it had question mark um, age and ID equals. I know we used to have a problem with that. Is that still a problem? Where are you seeing that? Oh, in the link? Yeah, in the link for oh. the actual sign up page. No, that, that link was generated with me going through the DAC site. So, no, that's okay. not a problem at all. That was by design on this page the way it replicates okay yeah because before it was a problem if you copied it that way with the ref or the agent id code in there so just making yeah, sure I mean, if you're doing what i'm saying and i understand your point if you're doing what i'm saying and you're sending it while you're on the phone with them and you're doing an active enrollment live on the phone if there's a problem you're going to realize it while you're on the phone with them but it should not be a problem in fact, I will, one, one thing I always do to test is I will copy a link and then I'll go into the little, if you go to, if you're on Chrome, in the top right corner of Chrome, you got three little dot, dot, dot on the very far right of the browser. If you click on those little dots, it opens up a drop down window that says new tab, new window, new incognito window. So I go to incognito a lot, testing pages. And if I go to the incognito window and paste that very same link, okay, um, it works just fine. It shows my agent ID and it's the DAC code. So that page should work perfectly well if you send them directly to the enrollment. Or you can just send them over to your main page and say, okay, you've got my link. Now look in the red bar and click on subscribe today however you want to do that. I like sending people directly where they need to go and making it simple. But again, that would be if I were on the phone with them. But yeah, good thing to point out there to ask the question, Harlequin. All right, speaking of questions, Mike Do, I see you have a hand up. How are you doing tonight, Mike? Doing good, what good. About How about RVPs? Uh, yeah, Future yeah. RVP, Mike Do. Yeah, we're, 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 we're working on it. Got a, I know got a, 
got a question which seems awfully unusual in today's world, but um, had two potential customers today that are elderly, they do not have a computer. And so the question is, one of them said they wanted to sign up and I think maybe the second one would too. So the question is, um, can we sign them up? Can we enter their information and sign them up? And then could, could we three-way them into the company and introduce them to customer service? Yeah, you can do that. And if you go look at FAQs on the website, um, one of the questions was, can't, let me see. Let me go look at that for a second. Make sure I'm giving you right direction here. Uh, can you help me sign up completing the forms? That's one of the questions on your FAQs. Guys, um, for everybody's benefit, FAQs are at the very bottom in the footer of the page. And this is the fourth one from the bottom of the FAQ list. It says, can you help me sign up completing the forms? Yes, contact customer service. So depending on your relationship with the client, Mike, if this is someone that you know, and you're comfortable getting their credit card information over the phone and putting it in, that's fine. I always caution people in that scenario um, to, you know, just be careful so that you're not accused of getting somebody's credit card information and misusing it. Um, if it's someone that you really don't know, then three-way them in to that 800 number like you just suggested, Mike, and that might be your better route to go if it's not someone you have a good relationship with. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. These are people that we don't know. So yeah, that's what I would do. But yeah, you can definitely connect them over to customer support and they can help enroll. And then, you know, customer support is going to be their main contact. If they don't have a computer, they're going to do everything by phone. And um, that'll be a great introduction for them to get started initially. If, if they're three weighed in, how will I make sure that I get credit? For the, for the uh, customer? Okay, good, good question. So the number that we see on our DAC site, when you call in, they know that that's a DAC client calling, right? They know that and all they need is your agent ID number and it gets connected through you to David Allen Capital. Okay. Because that's a DAC dedicated line. Thank you. You bet. That was it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> right. I know you're looking forward to marketing materials. Um, Tyler, who creates, he's a, he's a graphic artist and so talented. He's been on vacation for a week. He's back today. I had some correspondence with him earlier, um, and he's, he's hopefully going to have all of that stuff out for us by tomorrow evening so that we'll have our marketing material and um, everything in shape and ready to go forward. But exciting times ahead. I can't wait to see what you and Barb do with this um, and, you know, talk strategies and stuff. And again, you had offered that you thought you could um, share some experience with the team that might be beneficial. I know we'll, we'll plan that as we get deeper into this. Yeah. I was kind of quiet today and over the weekend because I'm, I'm working on something, but uh, you're on my list first thing tomorrow morning to send you some information uh, okay. of, of some things we've been working on. So excellent. Um, excellent. that's Look why I've been quiet. That's why I've been quiet. Oh, I know you're you're the <laughs> you're in there working, planning. I hear you. Okay, let's see. Anybody else got a question? We've got some things in the chat here. Don't worry about being on camera if you can't be. We appreciate that. Um, Harlequin, you've made this comment that being on camera is is accountability, right? So that's why we just want to see who's out there and. Um, and also give us an opportunity to interact with you. Janet, I see you've got a hand up. What do you got tonight? Mostly a comment. Um, because I'm in uh, the Chamber of Commerce, when people Google David Allen Capital Houston, I'm like the first one that pops up. So I get, I had a guy call me today and said, hey, can I sign up under you? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> Good for you. And also LinkedIn works. Um, I just got a giggle funding from somebody I've been talking to since October in LinkedIn. Very good. 
Thank you for that feedback. It's always encouraging to hear success stories of what's working out there. Real life success stories, right? Um, not just what I, I tell you guys every week or anybody else always nice having somebody else chime in. Good stuff. Thank you. Actually, Dan. actually, I do have a question. When I do my my elevator speech at different um, networking events, I always get the is it a bank? Is it the government loans? And I'd say no, it's you know, we're our own company, we have all the top lenders, da 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 da. da. And they just can't get over the fact that we're not our own bank. How do you? Yeah, so we're, we're like a broker. People are familiar with brokers. You know, they're familiar with real estate brokers and brokers in the financial space. And just tell them that DAC is like a broker platform where we're connected with all of the top lenders here. So we're actually better than a bank because if you go to a bank, you're getting offers from one place, but going through us with our broker outreach we have the ability to get offers from all of the top lenders that's what i use because i keep you know then i just tell them that you know it's short term and so you're not going to get the the bank rates and i don't know why they have such a hard time understanding that yeah, yeah. or if, you know if I, I, can, I always tell them too i'll say look we're not a bank and if you can get qualified at the bank, you should, because you're going to get better rates there. But if you don't have the time in business or you don't have the revenue or credit score that your bank is requiring, then we're your absolute best offer, uh, best option to get the best offer in the marketplace. Because we're going to shop all of them for you without damaging your credit and without your information being spread around everywhere. So that makes yeah. sense to me. Yeah. If I can uh, add to that. Um... I usually, if they're asking those types of questions, I tell them that we work with alternative capital lenders rather than banks. And sometimes that will help them. You know, it's mostly um, private lenders that we're working with. They even said to them, you know, that we've had people that will get, because we can get it in 24 to 48 hours, that they'll get money from us while they're waiting for the bank to come through. And then exactly. They can pay it off then. So, all righty. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Cherry's got a hand up. I muted myself. Cherry. Cherry. Can you unmute? Well, it looks like you're unmuted, but we're not hearing you. Do you have the correct microphone selected? While you try to figure out your microphone, I'm going to go to Passy. Passy, you had a hand up and then you lowered your hand. Did you have a question? Um. Harlequin said when I wanted to ask that could we say we're a private uh, money lender, you know, that kind of thing. So she kind of used that word private and she's yeah, we're, we're not really a private money lender because we're not the lender. We are an alternative. Uh, we are we're a brokerage with alternative lenders, but we are not the lender. We didn't. There, are, there have been a few times that DAC or Bank Breezy team has actually loaned the money, but we're not the lender. So we're, it's our connection that makes us unique, our platform that makes us unique. Right, right, right. We're okay. broker with those um, lenders. Um, another yeah. question I wanted to say was, could you please, maybe not tonight, um, show us how to get those Q, uh, QR codes? Um, I know there's a process you have to go through and all that some of us i'm not familiar with that so i can um, i would really like it if you can do that one of these days and also how to get the connect cards how to work with the canva uh, you know system and all of that when you have a moment and actually there is a shortcut 
Oh, we're not seeing a screen. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at something, trying to find something oh, that okay. before I give you the wrong information. I'm I'm in the background here working on it. You want to see if Cherry yeah. got muted there, Harlequin, while I'm looking for this. Cherry, you're unmuted, but we're still not hearing you. I'm still not hearing you. Maybe put it, put your question in the chat and we'll go ahead and answer it for you. Good plan. Yeah, so here's one. Um, I just, I Googled QR code creator and I'll show you what I came up with. Here's one that's, and there's several out there, but I like going with trusted sources. Uh, let me share screen. I just typed in Google search, create QR code. And the one that popped out to me, I know um, Tyler has used QR code monkey. He's used that one. Uh, but here's one from Adobe. And I trust Adobe. They have a free online QR generator. So I clicked on that. Are you seeing my screen, Harlequin? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can all, right. you can also use it in Canva when you're doing the connect Correct. cards. Yep. I didn't want to go through that process because if you don't have an account, uh, sometimes you have to sign up. So I wanted to just do a generic one. But there's also, if you're creating marketing material using the Canva templates that Tyler has created, um, there's a little video under each one of those where Tyler walks through how to do the QR code in Canva. And even if you're not creating stuff in Canva, you can still follow that video, create a QR code and use that QR code anywhere else. But I'll show you how to do it here with Adobe. I just have found this and I'm just following the instructions on screen. It says create now. And I'm going to go get my DAC Healthcare link. Let me grab that real quick. DACHealthcare.com. You want to make sure you spell the, <laughs> the web address correctly. All right, so I need the I need the link that I'm going to send it to, and I'm over here to create a QR code. And you simply paste the address, the web address in there, make sure it's correct, right? And when I hit enter, it created a code for me. So I could download it or one tool that I really like using, and I'll show you a, a shortcut here, is... It is a um, Google extension. It's called Fireshot, F-I-R-E-S-H-O-T. It is free. Uh, they have a free version and they have a paid version, but I use, I use Fireshot all the time. For these slides that I create for you guys and images, this is a great add-on and extension on, on Chrome. Capture selection. And once I do that, then I could go in here and just drag the corners and be able to, once it does that, it opens up another window as to whether I want to save it as an image, save to PDF, send it to email. I just like copying to clipboard. When I copy it to clipboard, then I can paste it wherever I want to use that. But that's a simple way to create a QR code. Now, here's the test. Once oh, you've created okay. something oh. on your computer, you want to hold your phone up. And when it shows that QR code, you want to click on it and make sure it goes to the page that you wanted it to go to. Always double check that QR code that you created before you put it on any print material. Okay. All okay, good. Great. That's a great tip. Good. All right. Awesome. Well, the Fireshot extension is like a screenshot tool. It is, yes. And there, there are several different ones. That just happens to be one that, that I have found that is really user-friendly and easy to do. 
I know I have Windows 11. Mm -hmm. I have a new computer and there's a snipping tool on here that I used to use on an older version of Windows and it was really easy, but the new version isn't as simple as the old one that I had. So um, the Fireshot works no matter what version computer you have. It just works on Chrome browser. So. Oh, great. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. All right. You bet. Any questions, comments, anything else? Before Actually, we... Ellen, um, Sherry, since she couldn't get her microphone to work, she said, when we apply, at, for example, at Chambers, they usually ask for the name of the company. If we decide to focus on the RX program, do we put the company's name as David Allen Capital or just DAC Healthcare? And actually, we're not, allowed, we're not allowed to use just David Allen Capital. Right. Great question. And I'll tell you what I've done. Um, I'm active at my chamber. When I first signed up as a member three years ago, I signed up as David Allen Capital Independent Agent. Okay. And then I was working on my branding, what I wanted my personal brand to be there within my chamber network. So I branded my company as Ellen Wynn Agency, LLC. So now I'm Ellen Wynn Agency, DAC. Um, and I, and, and I told them they were actually sending out some stuff. I, I sponsor a newsletter from time to time where I can buy a little ad spot there on their weekly newsletter that goes out by email, which is great. So if you've got that access with your Chamber of Commerce, check into how much that costs. Mine's only $25 a week and I've gotten ERC clients and I've gotten healthcare clients by running that little $25 ad because it gets in front of the whole database. But um, I told my chamber to stop using the David Allen Capital name. I said, we're going to go, I, we're, I feel like we're kind of switching just to go to DAC as our branding. So I've already done that with my stuff. So now I'm an independent agent DAC and I'm not saying David Allen Capital or DAC Healthcare. I'm just branding DAC. And I've even changed my the logo and my signature that just says DAC independent agent and no longer has David Allen capital under it. That logo is available off of the documents in the agent resource center, the healthcare documents. So yeah, that's my suggestion. Even yeah, if you want it, if you want to focus on healthcare, that's great. And I, I'm glad you asked that question because that brings up a little bit bigger thought process. Um, when you're naming and, and, doing your username on your website or when you're signing people up to market DAC, you got a new agent coming in. If they're asking you about the username, I would stay away from selecting a username that is product specific. Okay. Don't make it something regarding funding. Don't make it something regarding healthcare because those are the services that we're marketing right now. Five years from now, we may have another product or service under our umbrella that you want that to be the thing that you're leading with. And if you're locked in to something that is funding or healthcare related in the URL name, then that kind of, it may inhibit you doing the marketing that you want to do down the road. I personally use my name um, and that's easy. So think about that. And, it, and when you go to using that username that you can change in your back office, if you make a change on that username, then um, you're locked into that. And any any of the usernames that you had out there previously are not going to work anymore. So either use your agent ID, that one works 100% of the time, or pick a username that is ubiquitous and is um, non-service specific so that you've got some flexibility with it years and years down the road. And I say years, look guys, I've been here five and a half years and I see me being here another 20, however many more years I'm alive with DAC. So I've got the long-term mentality here and you should too, especially if you're going for RVP, because guys, if you'll put that plan into place and start making that kind of money, you'll be able to walk away from anything else that you're doing and have walk away income here with David Allen Capital. It's here Time is now. We just need to all get busy and go after it with a vengeance. So thank you for that question, Sherry. Yeah, and she has a couple of follow-up questions. She said, okay. what if they ask, what is DAC? 
Well, the the brand name is David Allen Capital. That's the the company name that are incorporated with, but we have some different brands under DAC. One of those is our, our healthcare division. So we have a financial services division, we have a healthcare division and probably other divisions in the future. So DAC. Yeah. And the last question she has is, do we have to register that name with the state? No, you do not. Um, only thing you'd have to register with the state is if you're setting up an LLC or a corporation or something on those lines, or you want to do a DBA, you know, you can go through the, the legal setup of whatever type business entity you want, or even as a solopreneur, you can be um, self-employed and you can get an EIN number if you want. Um, but you need to talk to an attorney or someone of that nature, nature to help guide you through that process if that's what you want to do. I personally have the LLC so that I have business income separate from personal income. Um, I just think that's a good move when you're planning on making the kind of money that you have the potential to make here. I think it's good to have the separation, but don't let that hold you up. I will say this too. If you're already signed up as an agent under your name, just keep building your business. You can always change it later through DAC. If you say, oh, I should have set up a LLC and you want to make that shift, all you need to do is send an email to support, letting them know that you have set up an LLC and you want to move out of your personal name into your business name under your business tax ID number. Real simple. Yeah. And then her last, she, another follow-up question. So a domain will be sufficient. It will. And, um, you know, again, on the DAC branding, David has said on multiple occasions that it may just be DAC at some point. So, and I, I know I've got some training out there. If y'all, if y'all see any training that I have saying that DAC is okay in a username or an email name, please point it out to me so that I can correct it because we really all need to steer clear of using DAC in an email address or in a domain name, because it could potentially be something that creates a problem with DAC moving forward, just as DAC and not David Allen Capital specifically. So caution you on that. Yeah. And also, whenever you're registering with any groups or any promotional materials you're using, you cannot use David Allen Capital in the title in whenever you register with anybody um, it, or DAC is also kind of not frowned upon at this point to use that mostly because if somebody is going and their friend told them about DAC and they're wanting to go and research it before they sign up, they'll go and they'll, they'll Google it and they'll find some, you know, if somebody has David Allen Capital as the name of their business or they have it in there, that's when they're going to be up at the top of the search. And if somebody goes and says, I'm David Allen Capital of um, Atlanta, and they do a search in Atlanta for David Allen Capital, that person's website is going to come up first. And that gives them an unfair advantage over somebody else. And they can potentially steal a, a client or an agent from the person who originally sent them. And that's even better reason to go ahead when you have someone that is ready to sign up rather than sending them an email or sending them a link and waiting for them to take action. You guys need to be in sales mode and say, Great, let's go ahead and get that taken care of right now. I want to get you locked in while I'm on the phone with you. So if there's any questions, I can walk you through and go ahead and get them so that they don't overlook your email or go back and start Googling for it later and find somebody else's link. Thank you for that, Harlequin. And thank you, Norma. I appreciate your comment there. Okay, Mike's got his hand back up. We can use the uh, DAC logo now that says independent, independent agent, can't we? So on the logo, we can use it in the signature of our emails as long as it's clear that we're designating ourselves as an independent agent, okay? Right, but outside right. of in an email signature, 
um, if it's on a web page, a landing page, or any printed material that you create, stuff that's not already pre-created for us, then you need to get that approved if you're using the logo or the brand names. Okay. Thanks for that question, Mike. I know others needed to hear that answer too. Appreciate it. All right. And Norma's got a hand up. Ask you to unmute. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi. I just uh, wanted to really quickly just give input on the LLC question, just to piggyback on yours. Um, I ended up signing up with DAC initially just with my name. And um, and then after that, I ended up getting an LLC for other partnerships that I have with other companies where I'm compensated um, through my LLC. So I just wanted to share that. And actually, I'm not a tax advisor, but I will let you know that the research that I've done, um, LLC was, well, I did a, a pass through. So you'll have to research that yourself. Um, but the LLC was the best option for me and what I was trying to do for, for myself and for tax purposes. So I recommend that you look into that. Um, and then secondly, I also wanted to comment um, on the DAC that there are some uh, pages that I've found on LinkedIn where I've noticed that there are DAC pages that are not from the DAC company, which I feel... Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, leadership should know about that to see if there's any way that those could be um, maybe taken down because there should only really be one DAC company page and everybody else that like for us who are independent agents, if we are um, listing that on our profiles and that just needs to say that we are an independent agent with DAC, right? Great point. And if you'll write this down, everybody, it may be Harlequin, if you can type this in the chat, um, if you'll send an email to compliance at davidallencapital.com, anytime you find something like that, send the link to compliance at davidallencapital.com, bring it to their attention. We have a compliance team, um, but you know we're all out here trying to protect our brand. So if you see something that doesn't look professional or is out of compliance as Norma is, is referring to, then bring that to attention to the corporate team because they're the ones that really control that. But I know Harlequin and I have found a link with someone that had DAC home office and you clicked on the image and it was a mobile home sitting out on a piece of property. And we're like, oh Lord, yeah. it's not yeah. good for our image, right? Yeah. I so, I hear yeah. you entirely. So also like, you know, with, with my company, the, our brokerage, like we have very strict rules on, you know, what we can and cannot do as far as like how we represent ourselves and just always making sure that we are representing ourselves very professionally. And I, you know, I've noticed that in some companies, you know, some people tend to represent themselves a little more professionally than others. And, um, you know, I, I think that there should also be something that um, where people, I mean, we, we hope that most people use common sense, you know, but, you know, that's not always the case, unfortunately. And um, some people are a little more laid back when it comes to how they represent themselves. So I think that's also very important because we have to consider the uniform professionalism if we want to be taken seriously. Absolutely. And I'm glad you mentioned that too. That's something that um, has been on my mind many times when we're in a Zoom environment and I see people on camera that, you know, just laid back in a t-shirt or laying back on a sofa or whatever. I'm not trying to point fingers at anyone, but guys, if you're in a Zoom meeting and you are on camera, you need to be sitting upright and you need to be paying attention. Look at me. I'm sitting here in a blazer tonight. Um, I've had a blazer on several times or in the summertime, I've got on a DAC logo shirt or something of that nature, but I'm always, always aware of my appearance when I'm getting on a video camera, especially if I'm getting on doing a Zoom meeting with a potential client or a prospect or one of my agents. I'm always presenting a professional um, view so that people take me seriously, right? So thank you for those comments. You're spot on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, everyone. You too.
Anything else, guys, before we wrap up? We've got great training tomorrow. And I know unless you've got specific questions, a lot of that stuff's going to be covered tomorrow. I can't wait to see the new business presentation. But remember, tomorrow we have three events starting at 11.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've got healthcare training. And also want to make a quick note on that. Um, somebody made a comment recently asking, you know, do you think our healthcare team is going to be upset that we're pushing the RX program? And my thought is this, and I know it's David's too. Um, the RX program is a vehicle to help us drive recruiting numbers because it is simple, no brainer. If somebody's spending more than 20 bucks, bam, this product makes sense. Why wouldn't you go ahead and switch over if your drugs are on the formulary list, right? So people see that they can have immediate success with it. The RX program is a, an, is an immediate decision. People can go ahead and get signed up and, um, don't have to think about it like they do with healthcare. Healthcare is a slower sale, okay? Because you got to get somebody at the right time. They know that they've already got their plan canceled or they don't have insurance at all and they're going to go ahead and get started. It's rare that you get someone in and they're ready to get started and sign up starting the, the following month. It may be a two-month sales cycle on healthcare. But back to the, the question of, Promoting the RX plan, we're not bypassing the healthcare plans at all. The driving of the recruiting is going, and also having more conversations and more people being driven to our healthcare page in general, they may get in there. The, the conversation that we had that opened the door and the opportunity was about the RX card or RX plan. <clears throat> but once they get in there, they go, Oh, y'all have healthcare too? Well, can I get a quote? So, it's just more conversations in general. I don't care what you're talking about with DAC, at least if we've got more people talking. Also on the RX card, RX plan, if that is the door opener, it gets into conversation about, hey, we, you know, we've got this. If, if this isn't a good fit for you, I just want to make you aware of what we're doing. I'm trying to really make a big impact on my community here. So many people are struggling. Also, or by the way, we have a financial services platform for business owners. So getting the conversation started and taking an extra 30 seconds to expand on services that we market and let other people know what you're doing. Because if, you, if you're a secret agent and they don't know what you're doing, nobody will ever be able to send you a referral. But if you're out there and you're a constant mouthpiece and people learn what you do and what you have access to, your door will start getting knocked on with referrals or your inbox or your phone, right? Uh, people sending you referrals because they heard what you're doing and they heard somebody that needed what you're doing and they're going to connect you. So conversation is always going to lead to more customers, no matter what the original conversation is about. So that's where we're at. Okay, guys, nothing else. I'm going to wrap um, up and we will. I, Ellen, I do have something. Um, just as a suggestion for everybody um, to get yourself jump started, go onto your phone and start at the bottom of the alphabet and go and send text messages to people just to touch base with them. It can be as simple as saying hello. If it's somebody that you know and you've spoken to recently, um, you know, if you need to do it a little bit, you know, write something different. But um, I did that on Friday night and reached out to 51 people. And I had I had like 18 or 20 people respond back to me. I've booked um, seven appointments. Actually, no. More than that. Um, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 10 appointments. Um, I've already had a couple of them. One, um, we booked an appointment for Saturday with her husband. We're going to do a Zoom. 
It was my old boss. I hadn't talked to her in like two or three years. Um, and it was a boss from 10 years ago. Um, there was somebody else that um, they're looking for funding. We can't do it with DAC, but I'm going to help them somewhere else. But I even went and reached out to people that I had met one time or tw a couple of times at a bar and we were playing and we were playing a sports app and I had never spoken to her since and it's been 12 years she responded and she and I were doing telephone tag today but um there was another person that I met one time 10 years ago and um at an event and she her first response was I don't know you and we now have an appointment scheduled so it doesn't matter when you're contacting them you know just reach out and be authentic and um one person one of the people that I reached out she's the works for a staffing agency and she's going to put me in touch with her benefits manager Wait. So, yeah. So, just set a goal to reach. I went and set it, put it the challenge in the 50 and 50 group that um, to reach out to 100 people as quickly as you can at the beginning of the month so that you have get your sales in for the month. And um, I did not get to my 100 because I was on a three day um training with Eric Worry that were you know they were nine hour days so I was kind of zoomed out but that will jump start you if you go and start reaching out to people and it doesn't have you don't have to bring up business to begin the conversation got it I see Janet's got a hand back up again I'm sorry. <laughs> I just it just reminded me of another question. I met a a couple that just got engaged, and I remember we there was a question asked: as long as they're in the same household, they can like we don't have to sign them up separately, right? When they're living no, they together, can be, they can be a family plan. Actually, okay. that I asked that specific question of Jake, and they have to be legally married. It can be same sex couples and it has to be if it's a child under up to the age of 26 that is living in the household. I'm so, sorry, I didn't clarify whether that I was thinking RX plan. I didn't clarify health care. Oh, actually, Janet, were you talking RX or health care? It was it was health care. OK, actually, that should apply because I believe on healthcare, you have to be married. Okay. But as long as we're on the subject, is it RX too? Yeah, the RX is the one that I had specifically asked Jake, and he said they do have to be married. And RX is not Jake. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm looking at the FAQ. I, I, I'm getting the names wrong. Because I, I had asked that regarding the Rx plan because he was saying, oh, well, you can have a, you know, all these different people, you know, he, initially he was talking about, oh, you can have up to 100 people on the plan if they're all in one family. But then he I got him to clarify that. And it is if they are they have to be married, it can be a same sex couple as long as they are legally married and any children under the age of 26 that are still living at home. And I'm assuming that if they're in college, that that's still their official address. But um, it would not include if you have, like, if they're adults and they have their elderly parents living with them, that would not be a family plan. And we're talking on the RX now, right? On the or RX, yeah. Well, sorry, and was... even, even with healthcare, it's going to be the same thing. I know it is with healthcare, but on the RX plan, um, I'm looking through that and it says that as many family members, they must live at the same address. One question I would have, and this might be something that we ask, 
Um, I know married couples that have not taken each other's last name. So they may have kept a maiden name or, you know, professionally they're keeping a name. Yeah, there's so, a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. So just because they don't have the same last name doesn't mean they're not married or could qualify. So might be a good question to ask the healthcare team tomorrow, Jake. And for and the new people, the family. Team. Yeah. And for the new people, pets are included. Yeah, good stuff. And if you're a single person with a pet, you don't have to have the family plan, which still oh, no, surprises me. But awesome. <laughs> I have that in writing, so. <laughs> I know, that was good stuff. All right, guys, well, we've gone long tonight. Thank I'm going to go ahead and, and get us off here. Um, yeah, tomorrow, 1130 a.m. Eastern, DACZoom.com, and then 8 o'clock. Please bring some guests. Don't just show up alone. Get somebody else to come see about this uh, remarkable program and ask them, hey, are you interested in, in helping in our community, helping get the word out in our community? We've got an, an, an incredible program and I know a lot of people could use what we have. Why don't you come check it out? And you'll get some people to come along with you. All right. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Appreciate you all. Take care.